Hello, my name is Josh Marks and I've been working with Steck Manufacturing over the past several years to come up with something for this problem. You know, I've been involved in the towing industry nearly all my life. And early on in my career, when I would come up to one of these, it would just be a nightmare to try to get loaded. You know, back in the 80s, you know, in the towing industry, we would just pick this vehicle up with a sling and just tow it on down the road. But with today's vehicles, it just doesn't work that way anymore. And doing this damage-free has become a serious problem in the towing industry. So, with Steck Manufacturing, we've come up with the fourth wheel loader. This fourth wheel loader is made out of very lightweight aluminum. It has several attachment points for your six foot chain and hand ratchet load binder. It comes with two shims, polypropylene, that are 10 inches by 10 inches, one that's an inch and a half, and one that's three inches tall. They both fit right inside the fourth wheel loader. The whole unit goes underneath of the vehicle, and we'll be able to load the vehicle onto the flatbed virtually damage free. So we've already got the car jacked up, and we're going to place the fourth wheel loader under there. The fourth wheel loader is a 24 inch by 14 inch hardened aluminum frame. Very, very lightweight with two handles. That makes it super easy to slide underneath of the vehicle. So once we get the vehicle jacked up, and we get something underneath of it, in case it falls, for safety reasons, we'll go ahead and we'll slide the fourth wheel loader up underneath of the vehicle in a place that best suits the situation that you have. You know, broken ball joints isn't always the problem that we're going to be dealing with. We could have, you know, a locked wheel bearing. We could have damage from a collision. Um, with aluminum flatbeds today, you don't want to damage even the steel ones with metal components sticking down. So the uses for the fourth wheel loader are endless. We made the fourth wheel loader with as many options as there are cars out there because we know that as a tow truck driver, you're not always going to run into the same situation every time. So, we slide the fourth wheel loader underneath of the car about where we think that it's going to be. And in this particular instance, I think maybe a second shim will help. If you'll notice, the shims are built to be completely interlocking. The three inch shim will lock into the inch and a half shim. So we'll get them in place where we want them. And the whole time we were working under the vehicle, we had it secured with the jack and with the secondary securement device. We will lower the jack. So the car rests on the fourth wheel loader. At that time, we'll take our six foot chain and our hand load binder. And we're going to route it up over the A-frame or up over any main structural component of the car to attach the fourth wheel loader to the vehicle so that it doesn't come off. Now that we have it hooked in the rear, we'll take the load binder, we'll loosen it up, place the T-slot in one of the T-slot holes, Attach the load binder to the chain. And then simply tighten with your hand. Now, finger tight gets the unit fairly secure. However, if you use a 9 16th wrench, which most of us tow truck drivers carry, or even a 9 16th ratchet wrench if you want to go all out, the unit can even be tightened further with that. All right, now the fourth wheel loader is completely attached to the vehicle. Very solid, can't even kick it out the Take your excess chain, Set it on top of the shims so it doesn't get caught on anything, and you're ready to load the vehicle. The fourth wheel loader has one inch axles and it's been tested up to five tons before it fails. So I think it will be just fine loading it onto the flatbed like this. 
Also, we've we've added three uh, mini J hook holes on the front and the rear of the unit um, to attach to the J to attach to your bridle, so you can pull it up onto the bed easier if if you, that ends up being a problem. So we'll remove the uh, the safety device, the cribbing that we've got underneath the vehicle and the jack, and we'll pull it up onto the flatbed. We've already got our bridle hooked up to the front of the vehicle, and we don't have the bridle in the way of the fourth wheel loader, and we're going to pull it right on up onto the bed. You can watch how easy that the fourth wheel loader transitions from the asphalt right to the back of the bed. We've done this in gravel, we've done it in dirt, it works well in any situation. So, we'll go ahead and get her loaded up for you. 